more problems with the RTX 50 series graphics card. So Gigabyte has officially announced a thermal gel leakage issue affecting their early production batches of their RTX 50 series graphics cards. This confirmation follows reports of users experiencing a liquid substance leaking from their Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5080 GPUs after a short period of time. This liquid is identified as Gigabyte's thermal connectivity gel, so I guess thermal compound of sorts, used as an alternative to traditional thermal pads. So in their statement, Gigabyte explains that a slightly higher volume of gel was applied in these early batches to ensure adequate thermal coverage. This over application is cited as a cause for the excessive gel appearing more prominent, extended, and potentially separating from the intended area, leading to the observed leakage right here. But despite the concerning appearance of this leaked gel, Gigabyte claims that this cosmetic variance, that's, that's two nifty words kind of put together right there, cosmetic variance, you can use that sometime yourself, does not negatively impact the graphics card's performance, reliability, or lifespan. They state that they have already inspected the issue and adjusted the gel application to the optimal amount in, I guess, subsequent production runs. So the first batch had this problem, and apparently from that they're saying is that's not going to be a problem anymore. If you have a gigabyte video card, let us know if you're getting gel leakage. While the excessive gel quantity is likely the cause of this leakage, Gigabyte assures that the thermal gel itself is not defective and can withstand temperatures up to 150 degrees Celsius before becoming really runny. So maybe this is the extent of it and it's not going to actually leak right down into the socket because I guess, you know, when I was pressed on and when the card got hot, maybe there was a little bit of gel leakage, but in that area that it's in there on the uh, printed circuit board, it's not hot, so it probably won't run anymore. But again, if you have a Gigabyte video card, let us know what has happened to you and how far the gel has actually leaked. This is the first time in all the years that I've been doing this and it's a lot of years, 25 years plus that I have been building computer systems and doing these videos and all the rest of it. And I have never seen gel leakage like this happen. Although if you put too much on, of course, and if you put too much on, uh, generally speaking, you would wipe off the excess. And maybe this is what's happening here. The quality control issue again, right? They put a whole bunch on, they squeeze everything together and they just send the cards out. That is, in my opinion, more than likely what happened here. And again, Gigabyte is reiterating that this is purely cosmetic and does not affect the functionality of the GPU. Now, this is obviously a quality control issue. It's a manufacturer-related issue. It is thus Gigabyte's problem not yours. So although Gigabyte has not come out and said this should be covered under their warranty, it might be, it might not be. I haven't really heard anything about them actually giving anyone a new card because of this or someone getting their money back because of this. What I would do, you know, is just wipe the excess gel off. That's probably the simplest thing to do unless you got the card and you went, boy, I spent way too much on this card and it's not working too well. And this is a good excuse to return the card to get my money back.